Well, hello, Band in the Box users, and welcome to Henry Clark's channel. Henry Clark's channel, I try to get you guys get that little bit more out of the Band in the Box product. So today, I wanted to talk to you guys and give you guys a tutorial on melodies. A lot of times, that I hear a lot of songs in Band in the Box or on the forums or things like that, right? And it's just chords, man. It's where's the melody? I just go, where's the melody, right? Because melody is kind of a tough thing to write. But just remember, I just want to tell you guys one thing. If you don't have a melody, you don't have a song, right? I mean, you know, I'd been in bands before and the drummer would come and he'd go, hey, man, I got this song, right? I said, okay, play it, right? He'd go, wow, you like that, man? You like it? I go, that's not, where's the melody at, right? You know, so again, if you're going to have a song, you have to have a melody. It doesn't matter what the chords are. So I have a tool. There's a tool and a trick that I use in Band in the Box when I'm trying to think of a melody, trying to create a melody. And I'm going to do this tutorial and take you guys through how I actually hit it creates melodies in Band in the Box. So stay with me. I'm heading over to Band in the Box. Oh, and don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you like what I do. You know, and again, thanks for all the comments. I try to get back with everybody, but I'm going to head on over to Band in the Box and I'm going to show you guys how Henry does a tutorial on making a melody that maybe it will work for you. So hold on a second and I will be right back. Well, welcome back. So today, again, I want to show you guys how you can use Band in a Box to help generate a melody. And, you know, like I said, if you don't have a melody, you don't have a song. So if there's a trick in the tool in here, but it depends on how you set up the tool on how effective it will be. Now, the melody may not be everything that you want it to be, but it will help you get, you know, kind of get your mind moving to help you write a song. So what I'm going to do, I, oh, i tell you what I'm going to do first. I'm going to show you the results of me using the melody and generating a melody to help me write a song. and um, I use that against this particular pattern that you see on my screen right now. So I'm going to show it to you in my sonar. So let me bring up my sonar. And I'm going to show you this song. And this song, this this melody was actually inspired from the Melodist tab. Of course, you got to write the lyrics and things like that. So just hang with me for like a minute, a minute and 30 seconds, and I'm going to play this song for you. And it's called Senorita because I, I don't know anything about Bossa Nova, but I wanted to try it. So this is the song Send You Reader by me, of course, but with the help of the Band in the Box Melody tag. That melody you hear was generated by the Band in the Box Melody tag, which inspired me of what to write, how to move through it. Myself up a little bit. Like a bird in flight, a looks just takes my breath away. A face of pure delight, don't want to let her out my side. I love the way she makes I, I me I love those feel. Bossa Nova rhythms. I just didn't know anything about them. She's got style, no one can deny. She brightens up a cloudy sky. People try to catch a glimpse, hoping she will blow a kiss. Senorita. I don't know, I didn't have anything else to say. But it sounded, it, it sounded like it worked. <laughs> you know? Let me be. stop it there so this song was actually inspired from band in a box so how did i do that how did i get to the point where i could write about senorita who i don't know who i know nothing about well i started with this pattern here it's called betum demo betten brushed bossa i have no idea what that means but it was something to start with right so i played this pattern and i'm going to play it for you 
and I said, oh, I like that. I really like that. But I couldn't, I had no concept of what a melody would sound like. Now, I do my favorite tricks here whenever I want to write a song, which is I always unfold the song. One chorus, 60 bars or something like that, but I'm not going to do it in this case just to save time. But this was the pattern that I started with. So I said, ah, okay, I need a melody. I need something to, to jumpstart to get me thinking about what a person would, would sing, not from a lyric perspective per se, but just from an overall melody. So I want to make sure I, I, I choose an instrument that has the characteristics. Now, when I choose an instrument of this type from a lyrical perspective, right, I don't want to choose, uh, so I want to choose something that has longer notes that a singer would actually sing. I don't want to do anything like staccato, right? I, I'm, I'm thinking about it from a vocalist perspective. So I go over here. And remember, right now I only have bass, guitar, and drums. So I go over to the Melodies tab, and I right-click, and it opens up a menu. Now, this menu is really, really important on how successful you're going to be. This is the default that you see here, this screen here, where it talks about how you can set everything, create all styles similar, right? You can generate chords, intro, bass pedals, generate melody, allow style change. You can do all of those things. You can even change the patch of the actual instrument that you're using once you select it. So it's important what you do. If you're going to try to generate a melody, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you don't generate chords. So take off, I'm going to click it again, take off generate chords. You do not want chords generated. You don't want that because then it's going to generate a whole new song and that's not what you want. You're trying to write a melody against this song. So take off generate chords. The next thing you want to take off is you want to take off style change. You don't want the style to change because you have already selected this style, Bedem Brush, Brush, Brush Bossa, right? You've already selected that style. So the last thing you want the melody tab to do or the melody you do is to change the style. So two things, take off generate chords, make sure you leave on generate melody and take off style change. If you do those things, you're more than halfway there. Yeah. So what type of instrument do I want to use that will give me an idea of what a melody would sound like, right? So I go over to the left side of this menu, right? And you have genres here. You notice all these genres here, right? Notice this, this one here says pop, jazz, 16th pop genre, right? And you can scroll up and down. And of course, this is going to depend on how many styles you have in your system. I have a lot, so I probably have a little bit more to, to choose from, right? But I'm going to choose... I, I chose pop 16th, right? I didn't want Brazilian in this particular case because I knew it would be more instrumental based. So I chose pop 16th, pop jazz 16th, and a menu comes up. And then just to show you, if I choose, notice that these, these, these instruments here on the screen here, right? If I change to a different style or genre, I'm sorry, if I do light rock, notice it changes. You've got now you've got eagles, you've got faster vibes, things like that, right? But again, I wanted something in the pop realm. So I know we're mixing pop and, and, and Brazilian, right? You know, but I thought it would be it would be easier to do that, right? So again, so I'm gonna go back to pop sixteenths. And when I click pop sixteenths, I get styles that are in the pop sixteenth realm. So now it's a matter of picking a style based on the instrument that will complement the style that I have. So in this particular case, I'm going to try a voice, right? So it's got this voice here. Uh, it is a Phil C. I guess that's Phil Collins, right? So here's a Phil Collins voice, right? So I'm going to do this Phil Collins voice. And remember, no chords generated, no style change. I want to make sure I do that, right? And all I have to do is select it. It shows me here what it is. The instrument used will be a soprano sax. I can actually change that instrument if I want to. Notice here, but I'm going to leave it at the default for practical purposes and training purposes. You can experiment with it more once you become a bit more proficient. So again, so I'm going to do soprano sax, and I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to ignore all the rest of this stuff. The main key points are no gen do not generate chords and do not change the style. Once I click OK, it starts. However, 
I noticed that it always doesn't start correctly. So even though it started, I'm going to stop it by just going to the stop button and I'm going to generate again. So once I hit generate, I'm going to generate and now I'm going to let it play. And notice the soprano sax is playing against this particular style. And it gives me an idea of what a melody would sound like. And I'm going to put it in solo. That's what the sax is playing. So again, so now I'm... Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba. See, it's not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be exact. I'm just trying to get my, my creative juices flowing. And this is helping me to do that because I'm hearing an actual solo instrument. I'm going to sing the song. I'm going to write the lyrics to the song, but I needed something to get started. Now, I'm not crazy about the saxophone. So let's just say you did this and you're not crazy about the saxophone. Go back to Melodist tab. Hit right click and you can change the instrument, right? So now I said, you know what, the sax is okay, but I'm gonna try this atmosphere thing. So I'm trying atmosphere now, right? And and it's just it's just pure atmosphere. And again, no generate chords, no style change. Now I'll just go again. I'll just click again. I'm gonna stop. I always stop and I want to generate. Because I notice that sometimes it doesn't start. It's probably supposed to, but it doesn't. I like that. And you can hear it in isolation. Now, of course, as a singer, nobody can sing trills as fast as, as, as this is going, right? But it doesn't matter because, again, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get inspired. I'm trying to... Think of a melody that I could use that I could write lyrics to it later on. So it's just that simple. Of course, like anything else in Band in the Box, it can get much, much more complicated. But once I have that down, again, I just go to my Melodies tab. I select my genre. I select the type of instrument that I want to use. I take off generate chords. I do not allow style change because it will change everything. I do I do not allow style change, and I just click OK. I don't change the instrument. I could if I wanted to, but I don't bother with it, right? Sometimes if I'm really playing around, I'll do it. But in this particular case, I don't want to, so I'm just not going to change it, right? And, of course, if, if the instrument the instrument dictated whether it had a harmony line or not, you know, if not instruments, all instruments will do that. Some will just be pure instruments, right? doesn't really matter to me though again what I'm looking for is I'm looking for you know something to help get my juices flowing right so it's really really that simple and what I'm gonna do now is just to show you I use the atmosphere so that's what I used and again I have bass guitar drums and now I have an atmosphere melody am I gonna use it in the song I don't know, I might, I might not, but at least it's getting it's getting me going. And to give you an example, so I took this, well, this was the method that I used for the song that I played earlier, right? And I went back, of course, you know me, I'm gonna always add extra stuff <laughs> into into my song, right? And I'm just gonna change my to just change to another another um um another uh pattern, right? Another another pattern. So I changed it and this is what I came up with now. I changed it, I have my atmosphere. But you know me, right? I added a solo guitar, I added horns, I added an electric piano, I added strings, I added an organ, you know, because I like I like a full sound, right? But what got me started was the other pattern, is how I got started. So now when I play it, I don't want that solo guitar because it's not time for it. But notice the electric piano sound. I just think that's just great, you know. And I can take this atmosphere off now because I've, I've made my own melody off of it now. It's given me enough to actually get started. So I'm good. Hey, 
It's just that simple, right? I know it sounds simple, doesn't it? But but it really is. It really is that simple. If you you if you if you learn how to use the the um, the tools that are available, and I try to do it simply. I'm not going to get overly complicated. I'm not going to get into a ton of MIDI tracks and all this kind of stuff. I'm a vocalist, and I try to get people inspired to do it from a vocalist perspective. Notice my song is unfolded now, so I have 88 bars. And I have one course because I, I, I set it up now so that I have a verse, a course. Actually, I have a verse, a bridge, and a course. I have a verse, a bridge, and a course because that's kind of the way most of the songs that I write, I write from that perspective. Sometimes I might start with the course, but always it's always going to be verse and course. Sometimes I have a bridge, sometimes I don't have a bridge, but basically verse and course. Now, some people call it a bridge. I call it a bridge. Some people call it a transition, right? But they think the bridge is after the course. I call it verse bridge but some people call it verse transition or pre-chorus and chorus that's it that's it that's all i have to show you today again this is how henry makes melodies from oh i'm sorry how henry helps his his melodious engine get jump started and using the banana box product so again i hope you learn from this if you have any questions you know just feel free to to add them to the YouTube window and I will answer them as fast as I can or as soon as I can anyway, right? And again, just to give you one more taste, I'll give you one more taste of how this I turn, um, <laughs> I'll just show you how I turn um, this. Into this. Notice that's that same that's that same instrument. I decided to keep it just for that intro. I decided to keep it. She moves right through the night, soaring like a bird in flight. That's it, folks. See you next time. And again, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.